Hey, it's Clem from Outback Mini Models, and we're going to do a video, uh, just a quick one, on making uh, Tamiya Paints airbrush ready. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people I've seen on YouTube basically getting um, getting their pot of their Tamiya and just basically going straight in and mixing it up, putting all their thinners in, mucking around. And, and 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 basically getting paint all over the um, side of your pot here. And me personally, I hate messy paint containers. You put them back in your drawers or whatever you put them in, and you got to wipe them down. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. So so basically, I'm just do a quick quick one to show you how to, how I do it. And I really hope this video helps. So first of all, we're going to use a 30 mil bottle. Uh, and these these ones here are marked. I get these off eBay. I think I get about 30 for about ten dollars And when I say ten dollars everything I'm using the saying is in Australian dollars because yeah, that's where I'm from So obviously if you guys in the UK, it's going to be the pounds going to be less if you Guys in America, it's going to be fairly close, but all these come from uh, I think these ones come from China yeah, it's, and these are dirt cheap uh, these ones here I paid about eight dollars and I got about 50 of them and same here same with this one same supplier that I got the 30 mils off paid uh, I think it was about same price it's roughly about eight dollars and I got about 50 of these as well and they all come with um, come with your eyedropper top yeah there and just comes with a screw cap Oop. Yeah, it just comes with a screw cap and once you screw it on you just or rip that off previously prior yeah rip it off and just chuck it because you don't need that bit and just a size zero um, fishing sinker uh, you get these pretty much anywhere hunting stores department stores fishing stores and they're cheap as chips you know like $2.50 and you get about 30 of them so okay so um, get the bottle well first of all do this first always just chuck your um, ball bearing or your don't use ball don't, yeah, don't use ball bearings um, I've tried it before um, especially in acrylics the water just reacts to the metal and they rust and you get um, rusting effects on the ball on the steel ball bearing and it goes through your paint um, I'm not too sure if, if I've got one floating around um, here we go. These are just on the bottom of my Tallery paints here. Um, you see where the stains. I've actually ripped out the steel ball bearings and I've changed them all over to um, to these sinkers here. That's in here. And then yeah, I'd, so that really annoyed me that. So yep, done that. So all we do is um, well, I shouldn't really shake these up because the paint just goes everywhere through the lid. Um, what I what I what I like to use. If you guys out there got an old airbrush needle that's bent or you've dinged it, don't chuck them out. They they come in really handy for super glue applicators and just stirrers. But just watch it at the at the point. You can blunt them down if you want, but I still keep this fairly sharp just with a metal file, so I can use it for other things. But it's just good for like you know putting paints in bottles and things like that. And that's just another tip. So just give this a stir. Give this a stir. Just, I mean, these both these pots here are brand new, so they haven't been. I only picked these up today, so hopefully they shouldn't have settled too much. And they're not too bad. And there's one stirred. Let's put that to the side so I don't knock it over. Open up this one. Give this one a stir. You don't have to go overboard with the stirring, just because I'll show you why later on. Okay, so once you've done that, basically you get your get your dropper bottle here and stick. If you can see it, uh, don't worry about this paint on the end. Basically, you just stick it in. Not all the way. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom, but just you know, 
about an inch or so into the bottle and you want to touch the edge of the pot so basically when the pot comes out you want basically it's capillary action you don't want it to run down the side of the bottle you want to touch the needle or your stick or whatever you're using and just run straight into the bottle so here we go just take your time don't rush and if you spill it that's what we've got the tissue here for just running running in these are only 10 mil pots so obviously two of these goes in there makes 20 20 mils um, if you're lucky enough to still have to be able to get the 20 mil pots um, in, your, in your area in your hobby store or whatever pick them up because yeah these I think I get these for about I think it's about three dollars about three dollars fifty a pot for 10 mils so that's still pretty cheap I mean, I never really used to be a fan of these Tamiya paints until I started doing this. Um, yeah, so if you don't get all it all in, don't get all this paint in the in the in the first run. Don't worry about it. Yeah, get a bit of paint on the edge here. Yeah, I'm just got an old cruddy bit of tissue paper. I'll just yeah, just chuck on there. The second pot. What have you got left in this one? it in and you still get this stuff out so don't um, get rid of that bottle the first pot just yet and we're on to the second one same deal nice and slow and in she goes and you can see it filling up I mean, there's there's no way that this paint, the way it is, you better run this straight into an airbrush. You just block up and have all sorts of nasty effects. And it doesn't matter how good your airbrush airbrush is, how expensive it is. Okay, so um, so that's that one. Put this aside. You don't want to put the cap on it yet. So we'll just put this aside here. Get. Get both bottles, what you got there, and where are my droppers, okay, you just get a dry dropper or whatever you got, you got a syringe, something like that, use that, we're not putting much in there, okay, okay, this is a, this is a 1.5 um, 1.5 mil dropper. So you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but if I shake it up a bit, you can see the there. So we'll put about half of this. It's probably about 1.2 mils in it. Just put about half there, half there. Cap up. Okay. Got a bit of um. Tamiya paint retarder as well. It says, you know, a lot of people say that the Tamiya X20A has got a um, bit of retarder in it, but it doesn't really do much because as soon as I spray it, you know, within, and this this is spraying on low air pressure, it's it's drying out pretty quick. And I really sort of like that flat finish. Okay, so I shake that up. Shake it up. May need more. Pop a little bit more in there. Now, yeah, as I'm putting a little bit at a time, because this is actually you're going to actually be pouring this into your 30 into this. What's that? This one. Just get a bit of a 
shake and just make sure the thinner gets around all throughout the bottle you sort of want all of it there's no point chucking it chucking most of it away because I mean where I look at seven dollars for 20 mils of paint it's pretty exy so that's all I can get my hands on close home you can see it's still it's pretty thin I mean if you're really anal about it you can put a bit more thinner in there and get it all out but if you look in there it's, she's pretty well cleaned out put that cap back on so now this one here do the same thing so all up total now we've probably got maybe uh, just a nick over three mils of X20 Ani. Just probably get a bit more of a shake. Okay. Now that we've given that a shake, back to putting this into the bottle. Now this is gonna be really it's gonna be a lot runnier than the original stuff obviously so a bit of care is needed. It's nice and slow. get closer just put the needle right up against the if I can show you here I don't know if you can see it put the needle right up against that's touching both edges of the bottle you actually lift it out a little bit so it's almost out of the bottle because you need to bend this needle like tilt the needle so you can tilt this bottle right up I mean you can see the angle that I've got this bottle on and she's still she's not running out the tissue paper she's just going down the needle Okay, so look in there, and she's pretty, pretty well cleaned out in this one. Yeah, just give you a stick or whatever you're using a clean out. Okay, so just be careful that you don't push the <laughs> push a needle in your hand. I reckon that will hurt. side now and if you can don't know if you can see it just give the bottle a little shake you can still see that's pretty thick and general rule with airbrushing milk consistency um, so I've say whack a bit more thin in there but I've actually got some already pre-mixed in a, another bottle it's just X20A and retarder bit of this um, about 30 mils basically fill this all the way to the 30 mil line I don't know if you can see uh, yeah, a bit of a bit of a light on here and if you can't see this guy sorry but the 30 mil mark is right there so so basically fill it up with x20a and I probably put about I don't know that's the mark. We'll get a pen. I'll mark it for you so you can see what I'm actually talking about. Because there's no point saying it and you can't even see what I'm doing. Alright. So that black, this black line here is the 30 mil mark. And I'll probably put, oh, not even, I can even see those two lines. Probably not just under that. Is probably retarder. I mean, you just experiment with it. Depends on how much retar um, retarder you want in your paint. And that, I'm not saying what I do is what you have to do. I mean, that's just yeah, that's just outrageously stupid. So we'll just dump a bit more in here. Yeah, less is better. Because if you put too much in there, you're pretty much screwed. Um, I can sort of see in the bottle but from a you guys point of view you can't see it yeah so we're just going to chuck a little bit of thinner in here just keep going 
Oh, boy, drop. And you don't want um, heaps because the Tamiya paint's already pretty runny, and you got this retarder in here. So as we start off with 30, and we've only put a little bit in here, so. Okay, now that I've started to put the thinner in here, you can it's starting to wash the paint away from the edge of the bottle so you can see it. So we start off with 20, and that's 10. So we've probably put about five all up, and, and that's including the X20A that we've actually put in these bottles while we're um, while we're cleaning out the jars, pots, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, so we've put about five mils in there. Just get this top of this litter clean. Okay, do the cap up. Give it a shake. And here's an old cruddy, yeah, just a cruddy old CD thing. So I'm just going to test it on. And you can probably see that's probably still a little thick. I mean, just a touch. So we'll take this, take this off. And just check it on there. Give this thing a wipe. Okay. So what have we got here? So we've got so probably another chuck a couple of mils in it, that's probably what it'll take. Okay. I think we've got enough that should do it and it's all trial and error so so when you actually do go to put it in your airbrush um, <clears throat> excuse me and it is too thick pop the bottle like take the cap off this chuck a bit more thinner in it and yeah you but you're basically gonna fine-tune this thing within a couple of sprays you get a bit more a bit more and before you know it yeah, you just, and you just chuck it straight back into your, where all your paints are and you got Tamiya paint, that's ready to go. Well, I hope this helps. Um, leave any comments down below. Um, like this video and subscribe. And I'll try and put some more videos up. Okay, thanks for watching guys. It's Clem from Outback Mini Models signing out. Catch you later. See ya.